Hello and welcome back to the Photo Op Podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm Ben Lucas. And I'm Stuart Marlantis. And this is Photo Op, the photo opinion show where we talk about all things photo and video and uh, apparently Photoshop because that's that's what we're talking about today. What Photoshop? Why would we talk about that? No, it's not like <laughs> Photoshop is photo related at all. No. Anyway, so we are doing a quick news segment to get uh, kind of a back on the wagon. Yes, welcome back. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, well, Welcome back. It, it has been a while J- to tease the new segment, and then we'll kind of catch you up on just our mm-hmm, lives mm-hmm, for the past mm-hmm. two months. Um, we are talking about a licensing deal that is removing an essential feature or making you cough up and pay. Yes. So we'll get to that but in what? a minute, which um, you probably already know if you've read the title to this video. But um, yeah, so it, it's been a little bit busy. Mm-hmm. Uh I've shot like six weddings since the last time we've recorded. Um, I've yeah. probably driven several hundred hours out to different places. Some of them were like my, the farthest one this month was Bend, Oregon, which was fun. But, you know, a I've drive. Been, I have not been to Bend in years. <laughs> yeah, it, t- it took about six hours from here. Yeah. Um, uh, no, uh, I shot your wedding. Yes. Wait. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, we will. We will be doing a follow up episode shortly, where uh, I think it'll be fun to have you review me as a photographer oh, on the air. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Ooh. So uh, yeah, that, that'll be an interesting peak, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, also doing a bunch of uh, sports photography and cosplay mm-hmm. photography and all the photography and just when. I think I'm done. Uh, cue the Mariah Carey song because uh, it's after <laughs> Halloween. That means it's apparently Christmas, and now all of the requests are coming in for Not holidays. Before Thanksgiving. I'm like, oh no, no. That I I saw it before Halloween. Yeah. So you know that's yeah. So just life is busy. Um, when you guys send in questions, though, it motivates us mm. to make more content. So how can they send in questions? Hello at photo dash op dot show. Send so, us that yes. email. Or you could comment on the social medias Absolutely. wherever. Comment on the YouTube videos. Um, we'll see that there. YouTube. Yeah. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, go ahead and send in your questions. It motivates us to make more content. But something happened that kind of lit a fire under my butt and said, we need to talk about this. Mm-hmm. So... Let's talk about what happened recently. And when I say recently, I mean like this week recently. Yeah, a few days ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Adobe and Pantone um, have apparently been teasing this since 2020. And then they keep saying that it's going to happen and it never does. So they were saying that they were going to remove support for Pantone color swatches. Now... Um, if you're a listener of the show, you probably already know what it is. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if you don't know what a Pantone swatch is, Stuart, why is Pantone an important thing? Uh, it helps you match colors across uh, all sorts of materials, I would say, in one sentence. <laughs> so, yeah. like, if you choose that color, you can get, you can also buy from Pantone material references on plastics and papers and stuff and see like, if I use this color, I know for sure this is going to appear the same way on all of these uh-huh. different things. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Which is an important service. Yeah. yeah. So um, it, it um, any material will reflect light differently. So to try and get a perfect color match on like metal versus, you know, drywall, you yeah. might need different colors. Yep. And that's why um, Pantone matching is super important. And boy, do they charge for it. I mean, if you buy like one of their collections where you get like a thousand colors in a big disc thing with sh- little drawers and shelves and stuff you can pull out, that's like well into the five figures of cost. I mean, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars for for like the true professional grade Pantone yeah. sets. And and that is something that um us and listeners at home are not actually using. No, that is something that professional print shops and manufacturers yeah. and stuff are using. I only I only bring that up to point out that Pantone is a thing. It is a legitimate business. Like I've seen some conversation around this story go, and people be like, "Pantone sucks." Like, why is Pantone even worth anything? Like, they shouldn't even oh, exist no, as a company. They, they should, and they provide a very valuable service. They provide a very valuable service, <laughs> and the valuable service that they provide is 
already super expensive. Exactly. So if you They're think, already being paid. If you think <laughs> about um, what what the, the, the razor problem of mm -hmm. if, give them the handle for cheap and then make the razor super expensive that so you're locked in. Yep. And yep. that's essentially what was happening. They gave us all of the, the swatches and colors and not even that cheap, but relatively cheap. Yeah, relatively. And digitally, they were included with any software that you bought um, so that you could design the thing. But the thing on its own isn't any good. You need to print it somehow and that's yeah. where they make all of their money mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but now they're charging both for the handle and the razor so yep. this licensing deal they are going to charge an extra 15 dollars a month 15 dollars a month yeah for reference out there <laughs> I only pay $10 a month for Adobe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the plug-in for Adobe is going to cost more than Adobe. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> and and why? Like, I just... It's yet another thing. Like, we are already... I mean, maybe working in you, the creative media space, we are buried under subscriptions already. You are watching... Yet another one. <laughs> you are watching me having a live meltdown on the air. It is so absolutely infuriating yeah I, oh my god so so just the subscription model as a thing I'm tired i of it. hate it i hate it so much mm. i understand when it was like hey this software is 500 dollars. like that's expensive but that's how much the software costs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they say well uh, the subscription is just like paying that 500 dollars every two years because mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you know you're getting an upgrade but that makes a giant assumption that I was actually buying every version. <laughs> In fact, and most people I am are not. a dinosaur that sticks with old freaking software because anytime I update software, something breaks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I never want to update while I'm currently working on something, which is literally all the all time. All the time. Yep. Yep. So, so uh, this this news actually has not affected me yet because I'm working with a uh, decently outdated <laughs> version of the Creative Cloud Photoshop that has not been hit by this update yet. As soon as I update, I lose all my Pantone swatches. But um, yeah, just just to kind of finish the rants on the subscription model, this is just rent seeking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is I I understand somewhat when software has a subscription model because they're like hey we need to pay people on an ongoing basis to continually do patches and yeah, updates yeah. and fixes okay i don't I like it. it but sure mm -hmm. i get cloud storage because like i'm literally using hard drives that are dying and yeah, replacing there's an ongoing cost. there's ongoing maintenance mm -hmm. and server facilities and stuff like okay i get it subscription boxes of consumable goods sure I, you're I, buying real I, things I, i'm buying real things mm -hmm. i get it but but why? <laughs> You're already <sighs> making your money, Pantone. Ah! Oh my God! It. You're already making it your money. Drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah. The this this is just one notch below when my um budget uh spreadsheet software changed from pay us fifteen dollars oh, yeah. to yeah. subscription model. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're literally budgeting software, teaching people how to cut subscriptions, subscriptions. out of their life, mm -hmm. and you just turned into a subscription. Do you understand? <laughs> mixed, mixed messaging, it's, for sure. It's that Ben Kenobi <laughs> meme, you became the thing you swore to destroy. Yep, what, what, yep. Oh, my God. So, so besides the fact that I hate subscriptions with a burning passion, this makes absolutely no sense that Pantone costs more than the Photoshop tool that I'm using. You can't use Pantone mm -hmm. on its own. It's a plug-in for Photoshop and Illustrator. Yeah, yeah. It's not its own piece of software. Mm. So, so, what the f <laughs> Yep. But even if it was cheap, <sighs> even if it was cheap, like $5 a month or less, I would still be irritated because you're already making your money. You're just punishing people. Like, you're already making your money elsewhere. You're already charging design houses and, and big studios and stuff tens of thousands of dollars for these reference materials you, you don't need to nickel and dime the little guys. And when when someone like Coca-Cola has that Coca-Cola red, that one specific Pantone swatch of like they are paying through the yeah, nose. Yeah, fine, and they should. Those, like, I'm not anti-Pantone oh. as a thing. I'm anti-subscription oh. nickel and diming. So <laughs> let's, let's take a break 
from our sponsor while I recenter ourselves. Our sponsor this week is me, as always, because we yes. don't have paid sponsors. All right, yet. If you want to, send us an email. Anyway, um, <laughs> actually, if you want to, I guess our Patreon. Would yeah, we be do our, have we have do have some paid, paid sponsors, sponsors. I, hey. I suppose. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> go to patreoncom slash creative, which is my handle on every single social media and mm-hmm. the YouTube channel that you're probably watching this on. If you're not listening to it in audio form, um, yeah. So uh, pa- patreoncom slash creative. Uh, right now, the only thing we have is a one dollar tip jar. Uh, it gives yes. you guilt-free uh, ad blocker absolution. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Um, so yeah, that is that is our sponsor for the week, the Patreon pitch. But um, let's let's talk about an old story that we've talked about. <laughs> our wonderful hero, Stuart Semple. Yes, yes, he is back to save us. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna link this down in the description. Um, our old episode where we talk about uh Stuart Semple saving the art world mm-hmm. from the demon that is Anish Kapoor. But um, so what did he do this time? Well, How is he saving us from Pantone? <laughs> well, as usual, he's taking something that's egregiously charged for or expensive or exclusive and making it free and easy to access. So he has made a, a, a what do you call it? Pantone-ish? He called it Pantone-ish. Pantone-ish. So yeah. The, so the, um, <laughs> we are also going to link directly to it. The no affiliates or anything. Yeah. This is going strictly We're to him. We're not sponsored by Stuart also, Semple. Also, he's not even selling it. It's no, it's free. free. It's free. So um, I actually have his page open right now. It is called Free Tone. I have liberated the Pantone color palette, and I'm giving it away for free unless you work for Adobe or Pantone. Yep. <laughs> so um, these are all colors that, as he describes, are Pantone-ish. Mm-hmm. They are mm-hmm. technically not Pantone colors. But they are very close. not. But they are also free colors that are available to use. And he said are close-ish enough that you can substitute them without noticing. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. obviously if you're a giant And, and this guy knows house, color, FYI. Yes, so like, he does. You probably are actually good. <laughs> this, yes, he does. This is not some like free alternative that's like kind of crappy at the end of the day. He, I'm sure he put the thought and time even though he turned this around incredibly quickly he did i'm sure he put the time in to really actually make these very 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 close so um yeah i'm not exactly sure how the whole, i've downloaded it and kind of uh looked at it a little bit but haven't really been able to put it through its paces and look mm-hmm. at stuff mm-hmm. but essentially um if you're a big design house you know who who this is your thing obviously yeah. you're not gonna buy a, a you're gonna pay the 15 you're gonna pay the 15 dollars yeah. whatever fine mm-hmm. but for the rest of us mm-hmm. um i do i dabble in design work i get design stuff every once in a while it doesn't come up a lot um it came up a lot more when i worked in other studios that did more kind of print shop relations Mm -hmm. but just because my clientele um a lot of the people who hire me of like a lot of it's close enough and the other thing too is like if i need to match let's say um let's say one of the big dogs leatherman came to me and they said hey this is our pantone swatch this needs to get matched it's not like i'm actually putting a pantone color in the image yeah yeah i'm taking their swatch that they gave me and i'm looking at the image of the knife i shot that's supposed to be that color and then doing my level and curves corrections to yep. make it accurate so even then um i don't use pantone all that much so i probably should not be raging as much <laughs> as i currently am but you're advocating but for all the designers still, out there. Still, all of the designers <laughs> out there, this is absolutely egregious. I mm-hmm. no, mm-hmm. it it should not. So <sighs> I hate it. I hate it so much. But Stuart I hate that, Semple. But Stuart Simple, I love that. Simple, <laughs> we love you. You have come to all of our rescues once again. There's gonna be a link for that down in the description. Shout out fellow S T U A R T. Oh man. Um yeah, I <laughs> I have nothing else to say on this topic. It is rage inducing that this like I understand licensing. I have licensed stuff myself. Um But I've they licensed, already make their money. Yeah, I like I licensed stuff to a textbook mm-hmm. and I said this license is good for three years, and if you wanna keep using it after that, you can pay me more money. Like licensing mm-hmm. is a thing. Mm-hmm. I understand mm-hmm. that. But like if this fifteen dollars a month came with their on. huge pack of Come chips, on. I would be into it. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> Some, or or make it a like five hundred dollar one time one time fee. sure some like 
I would hate that, but I would understand it on mm-hmm. a level. This is just egregious, and I hate it. Yeah. So, um, Pantone, you're already making your money. Just how give dare it a rest. You? Anyway, Stuart Semple to the rescue. Thank you so much. We um we don't we don't have a lot more to say on this. I don't think. No. Nope. I essentially just wanted to make this video so that all of you might be aware of what is happening when you try and open it and you see a big black square where a Pantone swatch used to be. Um, but also, yeah, can you imagine we if want- you weren't aware and you just open a document and and by the way, you're not getting those colors back. You open that document, they get blacked out. That's it. Your document is screwed up. So if you're in the middle of something, oh no no no, it <laughs> it does it does give you the little triangle warning, and it says to get. It's kind of like when um you download a file that has a font that you don't have. It will show you the font, but it will give you the little triangle and say if you attempt to click on this or edit it, it's gone forever. You can't. Well, get yeah, that but back. but that's what I'm saying is like let, let's say you're in the middle of a project. You're like you're a you freelance designer. For it. Yeah, yeah, you're you are like shackled to that now you like, have that to is pay ridiculous. for it or yeah. you lose your work think that of all correct. the work that's in progress right now sorry i'm getting back into the rant i'm just saying like oh man can you it's... imagine people that are out there in progress thousands of designers across the world you're gonna whip me back up into a frenzy, <laughs> man um yeah I feel so, for you. <laughs> so so we wanted to make adjust this uh video kind of talking about the problem yes uh i wanted to say short video but it doesn't look like it's that short anymore but talking about the solution so If you are also mad um, about the Pantone licensing thing and you want your Pantone-ish colors, again, Mm -hmm. they are not Mm -hmm. technically the same, but nearly indistinguishable, then go to the link, Stuart Semple's website, Culture Hustle, um, and uh, download his free tone Pantone-ish Download your legally distinct but visually indistinct colors. (laughs) Yes, it is legally distinct, free-to-use color palettes. Okay, so so go download that. Uh, send us in your questions. Thank you for listening. Um, we will come back with new topics, but I just, I had to make something. I, mm-hmm, it, this, mm-hmm. this had to come out. So um, thank you all so much to the subscribers. Thank you for the wait. Um, you know, life has been very hectic. Um, let's see if we, instead of, we normally take December off, but we just kind of took a month off. So, yeah, yeah. So we Maybe might, we don't we need might to. try and power through this holiday season and probably have some cool like gear reviews or gift guides or something. Ooh. All right. Uh, I Sounds don't know. Fun. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, check out the Patreon. Send us your questions. All of that jazz. And we will see you next time. Stay colorful. If you have questions or ideas for future episodes, you can email us at hello at photo dash op dot show. Watch us on Ben's YouTube channel at non creative. As in om nom nom. Share this with a friend and you can listen to photo op anywhere podcasts are sold. Or download it. Cause it's free.